All right. So, um, that's and ladies around the world. Yes, this is not a <laughs> full. This is not a um, Genshin Impact stream today. This is not uh, any Hoyaverse uh, franchise being played right now. We are playing for the first time uh, Fallout 3. I don't have any idea what this game is about. I'm going to press play. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> subscribe on the channel if you're brand new. Uh, leave a like on the video. Also, uh, share with all your friends. And uh, come over at twitch.tv forward slash forever essence where we do all of our streams live, uh, raw, and edited. So you may have the best, the best experience. But yeah, uh, now that this is all said and done, let's play. The world <laughs> up here. Oh. Okay. Um, hello. So maybe there was a nuke. A post-apocalyptic uh, world. All out. Do do dice. Go. <laughs> War. War never changes. Since the dawn of War never kind, changes. when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, oh. the destructive nature of man could sustain itself yeah. no longer. There was a nuke. Okay, good more. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, okay. the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. Yeah. But war. War never changes. Again, war never changes. I mean, In that's true. Days, thousands well, were spared secure. the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. Yeah. But when they emerged, they had only the there should be many ghosts to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. Vault 101. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one. Never leaves. Okay, so really secured, really tight, a lot on Vault 101. Okay. So, uh, that's the premise. These are the premises. <laughs> oh. Uh, hello? Uh, hi. Let's see. Are you a boy oh. or a girl? Uh, what's going on? Uh, well, of course I'm going to pick boy because you know, uh, lols. Those. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, oh James. We did it. My. Wait, my. Why is the vision of the mother or You've of a baby? Maybe it's a baby. Son. I'm sure of it. Look at newborn you. baby. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. What about my mother, though? What happened? Name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about? 
Play your name. <laughs> Let's go with Goku. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to write it just as you wrote it. Goku. Alright. So my name as a baby is Goku. Fine. Let's go. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. <laughs> Looks like they've finished oh. the gene projection. That's right. Let's That's great. What you look like when you're all grown up. Oh, uh, gene projector. So stats, ethne, visage, and hair. Oh no, wait. Stats, ethnicity, uh, face, and hair. All right. So race. Um, what do I? What do you want me to pick? Uh, African American, Asian, Caucasian, or Hispanic? Asian, Hispanic, Asian, African American. Well, uh, since go to is Asian, well, uh, let's go with that, I suppose. All right. Uh, reset. Ooh. Um, what does resemble the most <laughs> Goku? Um, Ronin? Eh, Grizzled Samurai. Let's go, let's go with Dashing Road. Are you sure you want this to be your character? Yes. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. Oh, so my mother is still alive. Yay. What kind of person are you going to be? <laughs> You're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine? She's in the cardiac are... arrest. Start compression. The Get the baby are... out of here. Move, move. One, one thousand. Two, oh, one thousand. well. Come on. My die. What? On, what is happening? <laughs> okay. One year later? Oh. Wait. Wait. Yeah, no. I mean, baby steps. Just add it. Over here. Bitch, door requires. Okay. Come to daddy. Going to uh, uh I am Over Alpha here. and Omega. Beginning and the end. I would leave unto him that is at, at first of the fountain of the Come the water of daddy. life really. Revelation. I'm not going to for, to you, Dad. Not my real dad. You're special. Daddy. Over here. Oh, I can talk now. You can make it. <laughs> it's so cute. Here. <laughs> Dada. Come to daddy. Aww. You can make it. Children are the future. Good citizens raising good citizens. All right. My crib, Over here. I think. Just a little further. Ah. So, uh, do I go to dad then? Hey, hello. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Yeah, thanks. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. Dad? I didn't... I, I, I didn't handle myself. Look at the ball. This ball. Shoot it. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh, baby's really nimble. I mean, it's go to, so I die. I mean, yeah. I 
Let's open the gate. Let's pretend we didn't see anything. Would you, would you not really jump? Wow. I did the playpen. Uh, you look at the your special bird. I mean, I was already there. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. You're special. Ah, uh, of course, Goku is special. Let's uh, let's see. Um, strength. Uh, wait. Um. Okay, so I suppose that these are um, the points that you put in. Either strength, uh, perception, <laughs> okay, um, endurance, uh, uh, charisma, okay, um, intelligence. Ability. Luck. <laughs> um. Okay, so I have to put points in. I have five points left, so I have to put points in either one of these five. I mean, seven characteristics or. And I think I, I think I, yeah, I'm going to do that. To do that. So, uh, strength, perception, endurance, intelligence, and luck. Okay. So this is completed. Um, I'm sure this is going to be relevant for uh, later. Oh. Okay. Close gate. Oh, hello. You are quite the little explorer. Should I have been back into this uh, little uh, pen you in. Come on over here. Little area. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21:6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give oh. unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. I can follow you now. Okay. Okay. Uh, one year later. So that mean I'm one year old. I'm a one year old boy. Well, this vault is uh, already, uh, I mean, not even, <laughs> just a part of the vault, not even the whole vault, but I like these uh, little portraits, even though they're not realistic at all, but Ooh. Uh, uh, No, why am I having flashbacks nine years later? Ten years old? Do I have ten years old now? Happy birthday! I didn't know it was my birthday. Oh, thanks. I, 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 I didn't know. Happy birthday, pal! I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official Vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. Pip you're only Pip 10 Boy months. 3000 added. Oh man, you 
Parent Quest added growing up fast. Well, I do. I am definitely, uh. That? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. That's level 1. 220 20 HP. AP 75. It's P right now because I'm still a, a little boy. Roshu. Level 1. What is this? Uh, so, okay. Rad resistance. Rad, oh, radioactive resistance, okay. So, there are radiation levels. No status effects. We can have effects here. Special. So, this is how, um, can be, and look at the, what, uh, stats you are boosting as you go on. So, strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry. Determines the effectiveness of all melee attacks. Right? Perception. A high perception threatens a bonus to the explosives, large pick, and energy weapons skills, and determines when red compass marching here. And the threats. Right. Endurance. Endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness. The high endurance gives bonuses to health, environmental resistances, the big guns, and armed skills. Charisma. Having a high charisma will improve people's disposition towards you. Give bonuses to both the barter, the barter and speech skills. Ah. Okay. Intelligence. That's the science, repair, and medicine skills. The higher intelligence, the more skill points you'll be able to distribute when you look. Agility. Agility affects your small guns and speech skills. Number of action points available for the ATS. But raising your luck will raise all of your skills a little. Having a high luck will also improve your physical chance with all weapons. So, luck is kind of a good strat. But I think that charisma is also good for uh, speech skills. Because I, I think I will have to talk with a lot of people in this game. Uh, skills. Water skills affect the prices you get for our okay. okay. Um, I'm not going to read that much of, of that. Is um, or this is going to be, uh, I mean, I'm going to look at that, whatever, <laughs> whether I like it or not. Uh, but speech, yeah. The speech skill govern governs how much you can on someone through dialogue and access to information that otherwise not want to share. Perks. Have any perks? General. Uh, so this is uh, giving me a rough idea of what I'm supposed to do. I mean, not what I'm supposed to do, but what I did do during my playthrough. Okay, weapons, arrow, jumpsuit, bolt 101 child's jumpsuit. I have a jumpsuit, so I believe that's great. Miscellaneous, ammo. I have the radio. I have notes. Um, enjoy the party and sneak and speak with our guests. Uh, world map and local map. All right, um, nice. So I have to speak with a lot of people. Enjoying yourself? Are you having a nice time? You can sit at the booth. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> oh, thank Your you. Dad was afraid you were on to us, but I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Okay, so I have to talk. Okay. Um, it's so easy to fool. You didn't fool me. Just pret pretended not to know. Great party, our matter. Thanks for doing this for me. Is this it? Or hasn't the real party started yet? Oh, come on. Don't be a douche. <laughs> You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. 
Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. I can guess? Okay. <laughs> I really have no idea. Mm, a date with Christine Chandel? Just give me a present already. <laughs> Um, just give me the present already. Okay, okay. One last question. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14, and with no missing pages. Grognak. Yeah, I found this in a box of my father's old things. Can you believe it? It's kind of weird to think about him reading comic books. I guess I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Well, thanks, Samata. Uh, it's nice. It was nice to talk to you. Um, I want to see Happy the birthday. here to help. Thanks. Um, anyways, let's see. Uh, sign up now for Saturday's baseball game in the atrium. We still need an uh short up to even out the teams. Lost one copy of Dean's electronics. If found, please return to Stanley. Okay. Wednesday's bingo night in the dinner. First prize of which supply of water ration? Water ration. Ah, so you have. Yeah, so. I guess this is the normal to have water rations. If anyone wants to, a tower card reading, you know where to find me. Beatrice. Enter the annual vault 101 bait off. Front tapes. Alright. Happy um, birthday! Can I, yeah. I to, oh, children should not use that. Wow. Okay. Uh, Happy birthday, Sonny. I'm great. I'm, I want to talk to you, Officer Drummers. But. Happy birthday, Sonny. Oh, well, uh, thanks. Thank you very much. Look at all these balloons. Are you having a nice Party for me. It shouldn't have. can sit now. Nice time. Okay, so I cannot sit on the stools, but I can sit on these, uh, ouch. I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. <laughs> of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Wait, wait. It did a great job, but couldn't you have helped out a bit more? Or what? What are these responses? Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. I understand. Right, right. I mean, are you going to talk to me again? Another youth well on his way to becoming a productive vault citizen. Are you having a nice time? I mean, these... Um, how should I say this? These dialogue options are really... <laughs> yeah, they're really bad. But... What are you looking at, dork face? Right. Happy birthday. Alright, let's, uh, let's uh, go. Hey, are you having a nice oh, party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yeah. yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, you didn't have to bring me a present, Mrs. Palmer. I hope you brought me something better than last year. <laughs> wow. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was 10 once, believe it or not. My <laughs> goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all nice. for you. No sharing required today. Oh, Aw, <laughs> oh, you're so tired, Miss Palmer. Oh, no. 
Okay. Well, uh, butch. Nice butch. Now get lost before I have to make you cry. Nice pit boy. What is that? I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Um, well. How about share it? How for me, how for you. That's fair, right? How about we share it? What are you, five? Give me that sweet roll, I'm gonna pound you. Really? <laughs> Don't search your head, Butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. Miss Palmer literally gave it to me. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. One of the 3,000 main models. What piece of junk. Oh, how do you like that, huh? Oh. Sure I don't even know how to attach. Butch, what do you think really you're doing? Leave him alone. Me Besides, that's all right, right, son. Was a reminder. <laughs> it didn't hurt you. Not all. Fun and game. How's it going, pal? Ugh. This is supposed to be a party, you know? Ah. Uh. Butch, I don't think this puny arm is strong enough to whip that pit boy. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. To attach someone. Yeah, I mean. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to I mean, make an yeah. ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> yeah, get it. Do you think we surprised him? Uh, what do you think so we should call our game? Alright, uh, can you talk to me, uh, Wally Mac? This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, hmm? party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? Oh, thank you, Ratchet. <laughs> and we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. A vault dweller. Get it? Thanks for oh. go around all day, oh. busy with the wire Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Fixed up again last night. Good all right, Paul. Cool. You're a cool guy. I like you. No way. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad you could make it. Uh, all right. Um, How's it going, pal? How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? Back to I the I think? No, Stanley. Oh. How do you like that pit boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Uh, <laughs> it's really cool. Did you fit it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Yeah. Well, uh, for what it's worth, uh, thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Really? Well, thanks. It's baseball chat. Such a splendid job. Nice. Um, uh, what about Dad. How are you doing? Dad. Yep. Yeah. We're doing that. <laughs> what are you looking at? Why are you doing that? Jonas? Oh. Hey Doc. We're all set down here. Thanks. I'll send him right down. How's it going, pal? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Reactor Go ahead. level. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Um, what about the tunnel rats? Or are Need Jonas on the reactor level. Ooh, I, like yeah, that, but I, I won't. Well, Flash an arrow on your trumpet shows the location of your objective. Cool, right? Happy birthday, dearie. The actress. My goodness. Okay. I hope I didn't miss the party. Um, <laughs> not a girl. 
I'm not five, so stop calling me dearie. Uh, yeah, my dad and Amata threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change mm -hmm. your diapers. And now look at you. A great big grown-up <laughs> okay. ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. Just you wrote you. me a poem. I hope you like it. Um, thank you. I, I will uh, treasure it always. Is that all? Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Vault snakes. What do you guys think? Well, thanks, Beatrice. Um, I want to talk to Andy, though. Shut up and let me think a minute. Thank about you, the chick, though. I hope you're what happened, Andy? Time. Andy, talk to oh, me. I am I wouldn't have missed it for the May I talk to you, I Andy? Mortified about like the cake this Simply mortified. No? Allow me. Andy. I am, Andy. I am mortified about Anyways. the cake this Simply mortified. Come on, you guys can do better than that. We need a good right, that. Just be patient. I mean, you don't want to ruin the surprise, do you? Cheese. Go ahead. Next Jonas is waiting. A big cheese. Nice try, but should okay. be the big cheese um, Why do you always have to Optimus. Decibel. Alright. Let's go. To the reactor. There's also the clinic. Locked very hard. Need a lock pick skill of a hundred to pick this lock. Okay. Sounds like every sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me about it. Um the reactor is you can go to the upper level if you want to. Go to Vault 101. Locked very hard. 100 <laughs> to pick this lot again. Okay, so I don't have 100 uh, skill points for that, so I should come back later. These two doors that I could not. The two doors? There's one that was inaccessible, and the two over that I need to get lot picks for. Filter room. This is the reactor. What are you doing oh. down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <clears throat> Not a kid. I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Uh, okay, one more minute. Are you ready for your surprise? Uh, depends. What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. BB gun. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Wait. If she be... <laughs> what do I get to, to chill? <laughs> yeah, we can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't. Unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Okay. Hey, Jonas. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Um. Thanks a lot, Jonas. This is really cool. Hey, you don't turn 10 every day. 
Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. I'll be right behind you. Accessible. Uh, I just uh, don't want to set the world on fire. <laughs> And accessible as well. A lot of stuff that is inaccessible. Go on, shoot something for me. Okay. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. I can shoot anytime I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever a shot a shotgun would have been nice. Uh it's so great, thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. All right. If I your weapon, push mouse. Yeah, I just want to talk to Dad Go again. Try out your new gun on those targets over there. All right. See. Okay. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just One. aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big um, game hunter. How should I, how should I um, you know, son. rid of the gun? <laughs> Here, son. Uh. Over here, son. Smile. Ah. Okay. Now, <laughs> another flash forward. I suppose. Six years later, sixteen. Revelation twenty one six. I am Alpha. What's going on? As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is a GOAT even? Maybe I need to know about the GOAT? The Generalized Occupational oh. Aptitude Test. Goat. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. Oh, so it's a so, test. Pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We're born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? My my dad is getting old. Strange. Hey, so dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're sixteen now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. But I'm sick, really. Uh, do we have to die in the vault? Don't we ever live? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Uh, I'm sick. Oh, wait. Oh, there are other options. I know that. Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? 
That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. What am I, why am I here? Now, can we talk about, you know, um... Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life, about love. But most of all, most of all she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. All right, all right. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. I got out of here, and good luck. Get to class and talk to Mr. Roch about the goat. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Morning, Jonas. Have you had a chance to look over these results? I was just going over them. Something you're worried about? I'd just like to keep an eye on it. No problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Sounds good. H Bubble Let head. me know if there are any changes. You found a Volt Tech Limited Edition Bubblehead. The description on the base reads, The smart man knows a bandage only hides his wound. Medicine skill has been permanently increased by 10%. Uh, 10 points. Okay. 10 points. Medicine. That's great. Earning, earnings clipboard. Puffy much. I'm just, I'm just going to take everything. Is there anything else I can? Uh... Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. I don't know if uh, these uh, items that I got are important or not. Who is that though? Is that me? Is that my buddy or is it something else? And I see the revelation here. You still need a lot, but still a 50 pitch. This? I think what I'm going to do is that I'm making sure that everything is uh, up to par. <laughs> I'm just going to take everything because, you know. Yeah, I don't think she will come here again. Oh. Need everything. I need everything. Be aware, safety always. All right. Uh, who's that guy? Hey oh, Stanley. <laughs> you better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. Okay. I'll be on my way then. I won't disturb you no more. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. I can show you. Hey Andy. What is it now, sir? Uh, okay. Hey, uh Jonas? Good luck with the goat, buddy. She's nothing, Butch. Show it to her, Butch. What's the matter? Daddy's girl gonna cry? 
Is that them? Let's go into the store <laughs> and these nuts. I'll show you a good time. <laughs> hey, Susie, what's new? A real Where's the classroom? Oh, oh, not my. much. Our heater's Daddy's on the again. Stupid tunnel snakes. Immature assholes, if you ask me. Why won't they leave me alone? It's not wow. my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Ah, uh, right. Butch and, Butch and his friends bothering you then? A bunch of idiots if you ask me. They think they're so tough with their gang. All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. <laughs> okay. I'll see if I can talk some sense into them. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Girl, daddy's girl. Okay, Butch. Where are you, Butch? Hey, Butch. Yeah? What do you want? Um, well. <laughs> Tunnel snakes? You guys are some kind of gang, is that it? Only the baddest gang in Vault 101. Like you don't know. We rule this vault, and what we say goes. You'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Speech 50%. You should keep messing with her. The overseer is going to come down in your dang. <laughs> look, look at this dialogue option. Maybe I can help. She's very sensitive about her weight. Wow. You never, ever, ever ask your girl about her weight. Okay? That's just one rule. <laughs> Does that even work? Each 50%? I'm going to ask her. <laughs> okay. Um, try it. Okay. Maybe you're right. We can it's deal with her later. Come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the well, boss. I, hope it's I did it. Fine. Let's That's go. impressive. You want to grab some lunch later on? Sure thing. I, I, I'm so good. I'm good right now. Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. I mean, I mean, Amata? I'm sorry, but... Uh, We're all in this together. We're all in this together. No, no, no. Sorry. <clears throat> How the work is how they work. <laughs> Have you taken your medication today? Okay, what's the other message? The outside world can never hurt you. Oh. Your creation is your specific duty. Your creation? Thank you, overseer. Like, um, like your cult almost. <laughs> almost. I mean, I know they want to be secured and want security most and foremost, but that's just, uh, it's just beyond <laughs> achieve perfection. Exercise regularly. Yeah, they're being being indoctrinated. Inness is godliness. Oh. America lives on in you. What a speech, bro. Seep the seep the sunshine of friendship. Okay. Before I go to the classroom, because I know you want me to go to the classroom. Just wanna see here that this is a door that is inaccessible. Let's go inside. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Just something everybody has to go through. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. I'm feeling kind of sick, Mr. B. Guess I'll have to reschedule. 
Come on, I don't really have to take this stupid test, do I? I'm sure you will. Okay. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. You don't want to be the first class in history to fail the government. Where's my seat? Uh, sit down and take the goat. I'll, uh... Back off! Before that... Take everything here before I forget. Go ahead and take a seat so we can start. In my coffee merch. Coffee merch is important. Okay. Uh, today, the goat. Do next week. Big book of science, page 927, combating airborne bacteria. Central themes of Charles Dickens. Oh, Charles Dickens' Bleak House. The role of the mother figure. Poverty, Romans, bureaucracy. Yes. Rotch the cr <laughs> Rotch the crotch. Wow. Christine Candle puts out. Come on, people. Find All right. your seats. Okay, I'm, I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. Go ahead, That's it. Take okay, okay. So we can start. All right. Yeah. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, Go. we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm talking to you, sure. Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Wait. Um. You are approached by a frenzied vault scientist. He yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. Well, he's a frenzied vault scientist. Who is yelling? Doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission, sing fission singularity? Yeah, up yours too, buddy. Be nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head to knock him out. For all you knew, he was planning on blowing up the vault. Be nothing but slip away before the scientist can continue his rant. Hmm. Go with that one. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange right. infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. Ooh. What do you He's use? infected. Uh, while working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection and his foot stumbles through the door. Infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you... What do you... Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Room for help. Uh, medicate the infected area to the best of your abilities. Restrain the patient and merely observe as the infection spreads. Well, uh, even if it is... Uh, Quite wrong and a bit um, troublesome. Since the infection is spreading at an alarming rate, um, I we have to amputate the foot before the infection spreads. I think. Question three: You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. With the submerged flag, by the way. Anyways. Um, it's not even the American flight, it's just the, the way it is designed in uh, this game. Uh, you discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. Hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen, pro uh, of stolen property. What do you do? Young boy is lost. Lower levels of the vault. It's hungry, frightened. And appears to be in possession of stolen property. Give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Confiscate the stolen property by force and leave the boy there as punishment. Take the boy's pocket to take the stolen property for yourself. Leave him to his fate. Lead the boy to safety and then turn him 
Inter. Question four. That's right. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Oh. Congratulations. You've made you've made one of the Vault Wait. You've made it to one of the Vault 101 baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher, catcher, designated hitter. None you wish the Vault had a soccer team. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Otter. Yeah. Um. Designated hitter. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, <laughs> but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol <laughs> and orders you to kill okay. another Okay. Grandma wants me to 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 what shoot someone. Apparently. Yeah. All right. So your grandmother invites you to tea, uh, but you're surprised when she gives you a, a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Obey your elder and kill the resident with the pistol. Offer your most prized possession for the resident's life. Ask granny for a million instead. Charlie, you don't want to miss. Throw your tea in granny's face. Um, I mean, I, I don't want to kill the other resident because we, I don't know what he did to uh, make the grandma want <laughs> to kill him. But uh, throw your tea in Granny's face, I mean, that's not correct. Ask Granny for minigun instead. Oh, going to the extreme. Um, obey your elder and kill the resident with the pistol. I, you know what? I think that this goat test is going to influence my skill points, my stats. Yeah, I think. Going to Question that. six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Hmm. Uh, old Mr. Abernathy. Uh, uh, wait. Right? What? Old Mr. Abernathy locked himself in his quarters again. You've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door. Pay the vault ho hoodlum for his scary bomb. And blow the door open. Go to the armory, retrieve a laser pistol, and shoot the lock off. Walk away and let the, the old truth rot. Now use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door. Question set. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. Oh. What's the best course of oh, treatment? that's bad. Uh, oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? A bullet to the brain. Large doses of an anti-mutagent, uh, prayer. Maybe God will spare you in exchange for a life of pious devotion. Removal of the mutated tissue with precision laser. Mm. Yeah, but even if you remove the mutated tissue with a precision laser, the fact is that you've still been exposed to radiation. And large doses of an anti mutagen agent is still going to um, to make you subjective to radiation. And a bullet to the brain that's. Let's go with that one. Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number 1. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Uh, a fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Brognach or Bar the Barbarian. Wait, wait. Okay, let's, let me read that again. 
Hello Vault 101 Resident is in possession of a Broadnag the Barbarian comic book. Issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal the comic book at gunpoint. Gun wow. Sneak into the resident's quarters and steal the comic book from his desk. So that's maybe ability. Uh, sleep some not child drops into the resident's nuclear cola and take the comic book when he's unconscious. Yeah, but he's going to ask for it when he wakes up. And that's the same as well. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your Maybe father. that's not the right way to do it. Private restroom when no one is looking but and each one has its own play style, I suppose, but And you decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. When? You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and loosen the bolts on some pipes and the sink is turned on the restroom will flood. Put a fire roger in the toilet that's sure to cause some chaos. Break into the locked medicine cabinet and replace his high blood pressure medication with sugar pills. Police question. Manipulate, manipulate the power wattage on his razor so it gets an electric shock in its time it shaves. Out of all these ones, out of all these ones, ones that are not too bad. What are these questions? Well, it's either a firefighter or the flood. Because these ones are just too strong. It is <laughs> has high blood pressure medication. And you replace that with sugar pills. <laughs> to play a prank on your father is basically, yeah, you have to die to to chill to chill your father. Choose the option. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's do that. Question ten: Who is indisputably the most Believe. important person involved? One oh one. Worshipping of the vault. He who shelters us from the harshness like, uh, of the atomic wasteland. And to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> they are... Uh, definitely uh, a cult. Like some sort of cult or... Uh, indoctrinating... Um, all of the... Well, residents of the vault. Who is... Indisputably the most important person in the Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland, to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. The overseer, the overseer, the overseer, the overseer. Yeah, of course. Of course it's going to work fine. The overseer. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I have a big ego now. Sure most <laughs> of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well... There are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the go. Right. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. And how do you turn the turn in the road to Mr. Broch? Uh, why are you Oh. Here you are, Mr. Broch. I haven't okay. finished. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks Can like I jump? a supervisory yeah. track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Ready, Gomez. Think... Don't teach. I'm done. I think I know uh, his butch. father. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, right? long while he matched, yeah. Here. I'll need to savor the moment. Who's he match? Now oh. Then. So they are brother and sister? Hmm. Really? Kristen Kendall. Interesting. You've surprised me, Butch. 
I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser? Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. Oh. Ashton, the brat. Well, well. Pip boy programmer, eh? Stanley will finally have someone to talk shop with. Ah, what I've always wanted to be. My dreams are finally coming true. <laughs> Whatever, I just answered randomly. Is that how you got stuck with your job? It can't be right. Stupid test got it all wrong. Oh. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such, uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. Um, science. Science still represents your combined scientific knowledge and is primarily used to hack restricted computer terminals. Melee weapons. Oh, okay. Uh, the melee weapons still determines your effectiveness with any melee weapon, from the simple lead pipe, lead pipe, all the way up to the high tech super sledge. Barter. Barter still affects the prices you get for for buying and selling items in general. Higher the barter skill, the lower your prices on purchase. Back off. So, three years later, 19. 